and then we have what we call um, the life stage of a family. Um, and we know that the life stage of a family will impact how they will adjust to the diagnosis and the treatment of a brain tumor. Um, a family, a young family can be in what we call the spring of their life. You know, a young family just starting out, um, maybe they um, have young children, and they're really just starting to create a pattern, a routine, kind of figure out the, the roles, who's going to do what, who's going to assume um, the various um, tasks. And then we have families that are in kind of the middle ages where their children are older, maybe they've gone to college, maybe um, the family is facing retirement, um, and their roles and their needs will be a little different. And then we have families that are in the later stage, kind of the winter of their family um, life. And we take that into consideration because um, the adjustment and the dynamics in the families will vary depending on their stage of family life. Um, so throughout the life of a family, um, as you can hear, if you start out in your early phase and then there's a middle phase and then a later phase, we can think of the family as constantly changing, constantly having to adapt, adjust. Um, the rhythm of their life, their, their family routines will change. Um, if you have young children, you can imagine the de demands of taking care of babies if you have school-aged children, as opposed to those that are in college, and then if your children are out. Or if you're a family that had no children, your, your life, your routine will change as you go along, your own um, life, your own rhythm. Um, and so families have been trying to adapt and adjust for quite a period of time. Um, and so they bring that history to the diagnosis. Now, if it's a family that has cooperation and has support, and, and you know, they may have had positive experiences as they've adjusted, but not all, all families come with that kind of history. And so sometimes in our psychosocial care, We'll ask a family, you know, how have you handled, how has your family adjusted to other important events in your life? Because for the majority of people, um, they have had some experience with challenges by the time um, we meet them, you know, or by the time that they've been diagnosed with a, with a serious illness. Um, and so knowing what they've done in the past and how that's worked out will also help, help us know how to intervene going um, forward. Um, so theoretically, families are in a constant state of flux. Um, however, one of the things we know about families, and we know about ourselves as individuals, is we will hold on to our familiar ways as long as possible. What's familiar to us, we just hold tightly to that, even if it does not serve us well. Even if our patterns and our interactions um, are ineffective. We will hold on to them. That's just the nature of human beings. Um, so the process of change is never an, an easy one. So I guess what I want to say to all of you who've had some experience um, with all of this or a lot of experience is if it's been a bumpy road, I understand that because very often it is a bumpy road. Um, we are asking you to adjust to a diagnosis, make treatment decisions, um, you're educating yourself, you're learning to navigate a very complex medical um, system, um, and you're struggling to create the new normal. Huge, huge undertaking that we're asking patient and, and families. Um, but the good no news is that's why psychosocial support is available, because I like to say to patients and families, you don't have to do this alone. Um, and whether you get your treatment here at Monmouth Medical Center or not, there's the resources of the Zachi Center. If you go elsewhere, um, there are social workers at other hospitals, other institutions. So you don't have to struggle. You don't have to figure out all of this by yourself. 
um, there are folks that are more than willing to help you. Um, and there's resources in the community, and I know that they included in your packet a listing of some of the resources. So that's a really important takeaway message, is that you don't have to do this alone. For me, I actually like the term family dynamics, um, because for me, the word dynamic represents this flowing process, kind of a movement, almost an energy that um, can result in change and positive change and adaptation. Um, and I really believe all the families um, in our, our um, center here really have the ability to meet these challenges. Um, and I'm really honored to be part of the team here, and I'm certainly willing to help you in any way as you transition and adjust to your new normal and continue to meet the challenges that are presented to you. So I, I thank you, and I hope you have a little better understanding of what family dynamics is. Thank you.